Good morning, Hands and Academy Sharks. I'm Alice Mackerlin. And I'm Lucy Gelbstein. Today is Friday, May 14th, 2021. This week we are featuring a poetry unit that the 8th grade students from 8 Academy participated in. And a totem pole project completed by 7th grade students on Seven Hampton. And a 6th grade unit on Vikings. We've completed the reading portion of our state tests next Tuesday and Wednesday, May 18th and 19th be the SAS math assessments. My favorite processing cheese pizza or ham sandwich for a budget and milk. May 17th is National DIPG Awareness Day. We will be showing our support for pediatric brain cancer patients and the need for research to cure this deadly cancer. Students will be allowed to wear a hat for the day to help drive. Caps for the Cure is a Cure Starts Now event to help raise funds and awareness for pediatric brain cancer research. Wear a hat in honor of kids who are battling cancer and our own Evan at Center School. Students are making Evan emblems to put on their hats to show the awareness. There is also a fundraiser that day at the community oven. Order a pizza from there on Monday proceeds to go towards finding a cure for DIPG. Today is a fantastic Friday. Giving Sharks a Voice was created by Real Times, along with help from the Shark Research Institute. Real Times was directed Ruth Musgrave got the idea from the day when she was writing the book, Everything Sharks. She thought the view of sharks should be updated as the survival was essential for the survival of all ocean species. She believed they needed a new voice and that kids could be that voice, rightfully. The day celebrates and raises awareness for sharks and is great. geared towards children. It encourages them to get involved in sharks conversations, efforts to help change public opinion about sharks. From fear to appreciation and from hate to love, you can find more information about Fantastic Friday on in honor of Fantastic Friday. Shark News invites you to send in shark art to sharknews at sunited.org. In social studies class, we are learning about the Vikings. So we had to make a quick study project. So some people made like a little model of like a Viking ship and others made posters or like Google Slides. Mm -hmm. um, in our Viking unit, I learned um, that Vikings had ravens woven into their sails because they would bring those ravens out to sea and they would always fly to the nearest land and that's how they kind of spread their colony. I learned that Vikings originally originated in Scandinavia, which is now Norway, Sweden, and Denmark and they uh, had houses made of sot and dirt. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with two seventh grade students, Elle and Beckett. Good morning. Good morning. Elle, I understand you recently read a book and did a project related to it. Can you tell me about that? Sure. We read Touching Spirit Bear, which focused on Native American traditions, uh, the history of the totem pole, and circle justice, which is a type of justice using healing. That's really cool. And Beckett, what did you think of this project? I liked it. Um, it was about what we had to make, these um, totem poles, and they had, like, you could make a tube, and then you wrapped your animal that you chose from this website, which had the characteristics of what you wanted to choose. Sounds fun. Thank you both for being on Shark News.
Eighth grade students on the 7A Academy team studied three verse poetry during the month of April. The unit culminated with students collaborating on poems and multiple voices. Here's a sample of their work. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. Today I'm here with Carter King and Will Granger. So, Will, what was your poem about? Um, so our poem was called The Fisherman's Folly. And it was about a fisherman's fight against a fish and the two perspectives of the fight. Cool. And um, Carter, what was the process of this? Well, first we, uh, we watched some uh, other poems in two voices and even four voices. And uh, we used those as an example and we crafted our own, which I really liked doing. Well, I heard you guys did a really good job. So thank you guys for being on Shark News today. Thank you. Thank you. The sun was glistening on the water. The ocean was busy as normal. A beautiful day, a beautiful to, be day to be swimming. I cast my oar into the water and start reeling. I thought it was a minnow, perfect for a midday meal. I, felt I took a, a bite. bite. I set the hook and I was on. I got drawn toward shore like a dog on a leash. I think I got him. But he hasn't got me yet. I, I tugged, tugged and tugged. tugged. I propelled to the surface where I flew like a bird. I felt less resistance. I, I saw, saw it. <laughs> It was huge and fat. A fisherman ready to cook me. I couldn't let him do that. I channeled all my strength and tried to get away. The line started running and it screamed as it left the reel. This was my livelihood at hand. I put, I put my, my last, last bit, bit of energy, energy into, into reeling getting this, this fishing. Hook out. The line snapped, relieved. I could live another day. Dismayed, how could I let this fish get away? I returned home fatigued and defeated. Dinner will be served tonight, but without fish. I can't be so foolish to let this happen again. I'm lucky to survive, but now I'm recognized by the hole in my mouth. I have I lost today. today. Hopefully, Hopefully tomorrow, tomorrow is better. the same. And now I'm here with Danny Dumont, Alex Batchelder, and Nick Kukopoulos. So Danny, what was the name of you guys' um, poem? Beautiful Draft. And Alex, what was the content of you guys' poem? Just the NFL Draft and it's like process. And Nick, what was um, the what was the progress you guys went through? Uh, first, we you know we thought of Mac Jones because Mac Jones was just selected by the Patriots, and then after we just kind of added poetic devices, and it turned into the NFL draft. <laughs> That's awesome! Thank you guys for being on Shark News. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Thank you. The, the NFL, NFL draft, draft is, is when what? legends are made, busts are born, underdogs are drafted. Trevor Lawrence, pick one. Zach Wilson, pick two. Penny Sewell, pick seven. It's so on. Fast, Fast forward, forward a bit. bit. Mac Jones is the pick. The future. QB one in New England. An unathletic quarterback is all we need. For the Pats to succeed from now on. The, the rest, rest of the, of the draft, draft was a blast. It went on. For a while. Seven rounds. 259 picks. In three days, it lasted. Gaps were filled. Team needs were taken. Many legends will awaken. The last pick in the draft. Mr. Irrelevant. Picked up by the Bucks. His name. Grant Stewart. The, that, that was, was the draft. draft. It was a blast. Quite long. But worth it. <laughs> And now I'm here with Camden David, Aiden Beck, and Allie Cross. So, Camden, what was the name of you guys' poem? Our poem was named The Endless Cycle. And Aiden, what was the content and topic of you guys' poem? So, our poem was about, like, uh, how, like, the seasons change and, like, nature just, like, changing throughout the year. It's very interesting. And Allie, what was the troubles and things that you guys went through? Well, we actually wrote a lot of drafts before we decided on the ending one. We only wrote that one the day before it was due, and we kind of just went with it. That's pretty cool. Thank you guys for being on Shark News today. Thank, Thank you. you. The Endless Cycle. In winter. In spring. In summer. Snowflakes dance down from the cloud streets cry. Snow turns to rain and the clouds start to cry. The sun beats down and the heat makes the soil dry. The air turns to frigid cold, nature is sleeping like a still lake. Flowers start blooming, the sun begins to wake. Mother nature yawns and the earth starts to shake. Holidays come around and everyone starts to cheer. Trees and buds, leaves start to reappear. Birds come back from their vacation away from here. Animals sleep in their homes for the next part of their lives. The busy bees buzz boisterously back to their hives. The butterflies fit, flitter and fly to the warmth that winter deprived. In, in autumn. autumn. Leaves wither, and with it, so does summer. Animals gather food and feast that night at supper. Mother Nature prepares for a few month long slumber. Seasons can never sit still. Seasons can never stop changing. An everlasting cycle of, of endless rotating.
the topic, talked about so much in schools, at home, and online, but it's ignored. And it's shunned all the time. People are broken. People are unhappy. But what does society do? It hates and takes away all that can be used to help. We're told all our problems are fake and that it's better to live in shame and to suffer than and to seek out help and assistance. They tell us what we think is attention when people are anxiety, depression, trauma, autism, PTSD, ADHD, DID, and BPD are told it's all in their heads. heads. That we're fake, that we're lying, that we're fine, that we just need to sleep it off and drink some water. News flash, we aren't okay. okay. Insurance would bad pay for a broken arm and someone who jumped out of a moving car on a busy highway because like wasn't was it worth living. living. We're told we're too young to know what stress is. That's because of our phones. We need to try harder. And that grown-ups have more problems than we do. Just, just because, because we're too young. young. Heads down. Be silent. That's, That's what, what we're, we're told. told. Pretend that we're fine. That nothing's wrong. But, but we, we need, need to speak up. up. We're not animals. We're people. We have voices. We have feelings. We can vocalize our problems. We just, just need to be heard. People, people need to pay attention to the sounds of pain we're singing. As day starts and morning breaks, we get ready. The, the journey, journey awaits. Wait. As does the car. And so does the venture. The, the road, road is waiting. waiting. Cars are moving. Tires are spinning. We are moving. No flying. Cruising at speeds that of a cheetah. The speedometer. Goes up. And up. And up. And up. Until it, it stops. stops. Boom. Boom. A flash of light. A bang. A crash. My life is a slideshow before my eyes. Never did I know how precious life was until you think it's gone. Wee woo, wee woo. The flashing lights are blinding. All I can think of is my family. My mistakes. My mistakes. The, the hospital lights, lights are blinding. blinding. I'm in pain. Not, Not only my wounds, wounds, but my heart. Such a small mistake caused such sadness in families. I thought I was in control. Now my best friend is gone. I regret all I have done. Now, the road ends. And now for your five day forecast. On Friday, it'll be 73 degrees and mostly sunny. On Saturday, it'll be 68 degrees and partly cloudy. On Sunday, it'll be 68 degrees and partly cloudy. On Monday, it'll be 63 degrees and partly cloudy. And on Tuesday, it'll be 65 degrees with afternoon showers. That's your weather. I'm Alina Hardiman. In honor of Fantastic Friday, here are some interesting shark facts. Shark skin feels similar to sandpaper. Shark skin feels exactly like sandpaper because it is made up of tiny teeth-like structures called pocoi scales. Also known as dermal denticles, these scale points towards the tail and help reduce friction from surrounding waters when the sharks swim. Sharks have been around for a very long time, Based on fossil scales found in Australia and the United States, scientists hypothesized sharks first appeared in the ocean around 455 million years ago. Our thought of the day comes from Martin Luther King Jr., who was an African-American Baptist minister and activist who became the most visible spoke spokesperson and leader in the American Civil Rights mo Movement. He said, the time is always right to do what is right. Martin Luther King Jr. And now for your joke. Hey Eddie. Hey what? Why was the king only 12 inches tall? I don't know why. Because he was a ruler. <laughs> Celebrating her birthday today is Danny Frazier. Celebrating on Saturday is Anne Solano. Celebrating on Sunday is De Chloe Davis. Happy birthday, Danny and, uh, and Chloe. And remember, before you speak, text, chat, or post, ask yourself, is it kind, is it true, and is it necessary? Remember the Academy way. Manage yourself, act responsibly, and respect yourself and others. Go out there and make it a fantastic Friday.